Hey y'all, I just wanted to do like a little mini update on the Thai Long Soldier Bean. Um, I had mentioned before, this is probably my favorite bean to grow now. They have a very good flavor. Um, I wanted to give like my little personal experience. They are a viney, a pole bean. Um, this is the Thai Soldier Bean. They grow in like a twin form. You can see here, there's two. Let me back up a little here. There's two, they flower in sets of two typically. There's one right here actually. This one only has one. But they typically, like right here, there's two flower buds. And though you typically produce two, there should have been two there. You see the bud and then the bean. But they're not as prolific as what I, from what I've experienced so far as other beans, since they only produce these two little flowers at a time on the bean. But They'll produce typically two. I have a vine going all the way up through here and goes up through the fig tree. But um, they're, they grow about 12 inches, 12 plus inches. I tend to pull them around eight to 10 inches in length. So I'll leave this one probably for another, this one here for another day or two. I like them smaller because the bigger they get, like I just found a bunch of these underneath a bush. These are too big for me. Um, they do grow a string in them when they get big and the string is tough. But when you get them a little bit bigger than this size here, I let them grow about eight, eight to 10 inches. The string is non-existent. So um, that's my personal experience. Don't let them get too big if you're gonna grow them because the string is tough. But if you let them grow, um, grow them to about eight inches or so and pull them before they get this size, before they get super large and chunky, because once they get chunky like this, the string is tough. And it's a little, if you don't mind the string, it's okay. But the string is a bit tough. It was a bit hard to chew when they get this size. I'll still eat them, they're still fine. But um, I stir fry these or we boil them up like green beans, um, saute them in butter. They're really good. Um, I personally, my personal opinion, I like them a little smaller just so they're more tender and they don't um, have that string in them. So I pick them closer to that size, just a little bigger than that and they stay softer. But this is probably one of my favorite beans. I will be growing these every year now. They're not as prolific as a green bean because they only grow like that in, two, in a set of two at a time. And the, the sprout, the vine is slower growing in my experience. Um, maybe in other people's um, climate or whatever, it may grow a little faster, but in my climate, it grows a bit slower. Like I have this one here. It's, this one's pretty long. It's growing through, like I said, it grows through there. It's hard to see. And then I have these here that have not sprouted anything yet but they are growing they're starting to go up the fence there um i have more somewhere too i have uh, these i have over in another section but um the ones i found these in these beans i found way over by my scarlet runners but um i would definitely suggest it if you like a, a more sweeter tasting bean um they're pretty good a little bit slower prolifically but um a good tasting bean and they're super long i mean look how long they are these are pretty long beans. Even if you get them, um, I mean, even compared, look at this one. I will wait for another day or two on that one, but even look at the length on that one. You just don't want them to get super bulky. Then they get kind of tough. But yeah, that's the soldier, Thai soldier long bean. Bye y'all.